Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What I'm going to be doing today is I want to make a farmhouse DIY using a Dollar Tree wall decor. And I found an image online and I'll link that in the description box, but I think this is going to be so pretty. Um, my wall decor that I found at the Dollar Tree is just says forever blessed with every breath and it's beautiful and I really do like it but I wanted to make something different and it's the black and white diamond almost like um, it sort of reminds me of Mackenzie Childs in a way but uh, I'm not going to be doing that for that but you can make this if you have a Cricut or if you don't if you do not have a Cricut just print it out on the Avery sticker sheets which is what I'm going to be using and uh, use the PNG image and uh, or if you don't have the wall decor like I found you can put it in a frame on cardstock or paper and you'll just have to resize it when you bring it into your computer okay so I am going to go here to the new project circle with the plus I'm going to replace the project I was working on and I'm going to go to images on the left hand side and I would check check under ownership upload it and this is the one pray without ceasing and I love that handwritten font so that when you click on it it'll put this green box around it then we're going to go to insert images right bottom corner and that will put it on our canvas and it comes in really large so out from size I'm going to unlock that and I'm going to click in this box and backspace and put 3.5 for the width and 3.5 for the height and that's what you get then I'm going to go to shapes over here on the left I'm going to choose a circle you could make this any color that you wanted and it will actually print out the color but I want mine if you want to change it you click on that little box that's colored I want to make mine this lighter gray because mine's black white and gray now I need to change the size of this circle so I'm going out from size unlock that and put in 5.0 for the width and 5.0 for the height okay now if you go over here and look you'll see this is all separate and I don't want that so I'm going to move my pray without ceasing on top of my circle go up to the top where it says arrange click on that send to the front okay and get it where you think it looks good and I really like that maybe just a yeah I like that okay now if you still look over here it's still separate so I'm going to draw a box around it go to the top and hit group and then go down to the bottom of the layers column and hit flatten now that will turn it into a cut then print okay so I'm going to go right top corner make it that will put it on our canvas. I do not want to mirror the image. And I'm going to hit continue right bottom corner. And then all you need to do is send it to the printer. I've had problems with my um, internet today, so I've already printed. So I'm going to click I've already printed. And then if you're going to use the um, Avery sticker labels, just choose your washi tape right here and I'm going to set my default default pressure to more because I still have not changed my blade <laughs> okay so the next time you see me we'll be cutting out this really cute farmhouse wall decor using a Dollar Tree picture okay here's our really pretty Dollar Tree wall decor that just like I said says forever blessed with every breath I love it that will be beautiful in itself but like I said I wanted to change it up and here's what we just made now it will print out any color that you want to put behind your prey without ceasing so I just have my standard grit mat here and I still haven't cut it down either <laughs> all right and I'm going to put that on here I'm going to insert it into my Cricut with the blinking arrow and then cut with the blinking C Hopefully my internet is strong enough to do this. It messed up the other time. 
So right now it's just reading the registration marks and a lot of you have asked about my bladder infection. I went back to the doctor last Wednesday and she took another urine sample and it just showed blood in my urine uh, but no infection. So she's sending me for a CT of my abdomen and pelvis and I have to see a urologist because she's thinking I may have a kidney stone. I don't have a history of them, but mom does, uh, stuck in there. So I hope not, So, but we'll see. So now it's cutting out the circle. All right, we'll inject, inject this with the blinking arrow. And I'm just going to lift this up like this. Okay, we'll open this up. Alright, and then all you have to do is just peel this off exactly how I make my stickers and find out where you want this. And the reason I made it this width is I wanted both of these lines to be able to be seen, okay? I think I need to go over just a little. That's one good thing about these Avery shipping labels. They do give you a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, here it is. I love how this turned out. I think that gray really plays nicely with the other gray that's back here. Um, and I could have made it a different gray even because on camera this is coming across a little slightly a putty gray and it really isn't but I think this is so pretty and unusual and you only have a dollar in it so I will see you tomorrow for a Dollar Tree DIY and then um, Wednesday I'm really looking forward to a Dollar Tree haul and my planner using Dollar Tree stickers so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So until next time, bye guys.